So plants are so important to life on Earth. They're the lungs of the world. They, they breathe in carbon dioxide, they breathe out oxygen. That oxygen is used by organisms across the planet. We have a massive challenge as plant breeders. We're dealing with a world that is hungry for more food, a world that has no more land to produce that food on, and we're facing challenges of climate change. Climate change is happening at an unprecedented pace. So we as scientists need to try and uncover the secrets of plants and find out how they've solved those problems throughout evolution and whether we can take advantage of that knowledge. Agriculture is going to need to come up with a variety of new approaches to help overcome some of the extreme challenges that we're going to face with climate change. We rely on something like two or three species for two thirds of our calorie intake around the world. But here in Australia, we have thousands of species and many are crop wild relatives. So we can potentially take advantage of the secrets from our native flora for how to deal with climate change and in any other environmental challenge that you could throw at them. We work with tens of thousands of trial plots around the target production area to look at the impact of different stressors on yield and the performance in farmers' field. So the plants that I'm working on are actually Australian native plants and they grow in some of the most hostile environments <laughs> on the planet. I'm hoping that by using these we can take some of the traits that the plants have evolved that can withstand drought fluctuations in temperature and so on, to take those sorts of traits and bring them into our crop plants so that they can not just give you the best yield under optimum conditions, but are able to still yield when the climate is a challenge. The advantages of bringing together scientists with such diverse expertise is we can ask completely new novel scientific questions, but also we can tackle age-old questions but a whole new way. In science you tend to get narrow and narrow with how you focus and with the centre it's good to have the incentive to uh, have a bit of more of a broader community. We're connecting together to a bigger picture and trying to see how we can all work together. What I hope for the, the centre is that it will be able to connect different areas of research that have traditionally been a bit separate from each other that will be able to come up with something that's actually really practical for agriculture and, and horticulture. When you're trying to address a big global problem like food security, the challenge is so huge that um, you need the maths to be able to have a common language that it transfers the biology across to the breeders. That's what the mathematician's role is. And then you need the legal people to be able to make sure that that's done in a responsible way from the community's point of view and also, say for example, from First Nations people's point of view. And so capturing all that together is one of the great beauties of having a centre of excellence because you can actually answer the whole problem, not just a little part of it.